Today I'm going to show you what it's like to drive the 2016 all-new Cadillac CT6. This car is 204 inches long, which positions it kind of awkwardly between the Mercedes E-Class and S-Class. It's a foot longer than the E-Class, but it's actually two inches shorter than the S-Class. We'll hop in the back. This has the rear seat entertainment. Pull down the center console here, and you've got controls on the side that allow you uh, to do many things to the seat, as well as have massage. So click this button here. You've got massaging rear seats. You've got heated seats, cooled seats. Uh, you can view the navigation on the screen, as well as Blu-ray, obviously, watch movies, and uh, change the radio controls. There's not as much space as you would imagine. They made the trunk a little bit too large in the CT6, uh, but unless you're over six foot four, you should have a decent amount of legroom. You've got two nice sunroofs. You've got manual shades. Interestingly, a lot of cars in this price range will have automatic sun shades, but you do have an automatic one in the rear. Now this car is almost completely out of gas, so this will be a good test of the navigation system and see if we can squeeze some extra MPGs out of it. As you can see, you've got a big touchscreen here. It's giving us turn by turn directions and you probably can't see it, but there's a heads up display telling us turn right on Edward North Hines Drive in 200 feet. Now one of the coolest parts of the car is the rear view mirror is actually a camera uh, that is a live view of what's going on behind you. It gives you almost three times larger field of view and basically eliminates uh, the blind spots that would typically be over your shoulder. Put it in drive, you've got different driving modes, tour, sport, snow and ice, but let's leave it on tour because we have uh, almost no fuel left. And let's get rolling. You've got a fully digital instrument cluster, I'm not actually a fan of the graphics telling us to turn right here on the heads-up display unit. Now there's multiple engine options ranging from 404 horsepower in the top of the line which we have here, a 3 liter twin turbo 6 cylinder to 265 for the base car. A cool part about this car's navigation is when it sensed that I was low on fuel, it actually gave me all the closest gas stations uh, and started, uh, I picked the closest one, clicked enter, and now I've got directions to it. This car is a good 500 to 1,000 pounds lighter than its competition. However, it doesn't feel any more agile. And because it only has 404 horsepower and due to its eight-speed automatic transmission, it doesn't actually feel all that quick. The CT6 is a very comfortable car to drive. Uh, it's got magnetic ride. The suspension is pretty soft. It's not quite as soft as the S-Class. Notice on the left, we had a little indicator light up saying there was a car in our blind spot. So it's got collision avoidance, comes in handy. You can see here how uh, magnified the car behind us is. The mirrors are actually really cool looking. You don't get quite as much visibility as you would with normal mirrors, but I like how sleek they are and it makes up for it with this brilliant rear view mirror. To be honest, this is a car you want to be driven in, not actually drive. Just sitting in the back getting massaged in the rear seats, how cool is that, massaging rear seats, uh, is a lot cooler experience than actually driving this vehicle. So if you want something to be chauffeured around in, this is definitely an awesome choice for that. In terms of driving dynamics, it's not all that exciting. And because the power plant, despite having 400 horsepower, which is a lot, it doesn't feel fast at all. And the engine noise is um, not good. <laughs> it sounds a lot like uh, a V6 and a Toyota minivan. They should have toned that down a lot and not have that intrude into the cabin. Wow, the uh, paddles mounted on the steering wheel are actually very responsive, even for downshifts. 
It's got auto start stop, as you can see, absolutely empty, zero feet to our destination. I'm not a huge fan of the aesthetics of this steering wheel. Uh, the competition has done a lot more in terms of design. Uh, same with the uh, multimedia. It's nicely laid out, but it does feel a little bit too cramped in here. Uh, everything's a bit too close. Paddle response on upshifts are actually really quick. And as you accelerate, the seatbelt actually tugs against you uh, to, uh, in case you get into an accident, I guess, because you're accelerating out of control. To be honest, at this price point, it really is the best car available right now. Waiting for the Mercedes E-Class to come out might be your best bet if you can hold off for a year or two. But if you got to get something right now for under $90,000, the CT6 is an absolutely awesome option. Well, I'm going to stop talking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Let's let this car do a little bit of cruising through the city because relaxing in traffic is what this thing is all about.